the one before the, the table. The yeah, the outside only. Yeah. They left the, the inside. Outside. Here they left this, but it's good practice, right? Yeah. A lot of times you got to think at Freestone, is it going to get deep? Yeah. Are the ruts going to get long? Yeah. Are they going to have buckles in them? Yeah. Are they going to re-disc it when they go out there and water it? Yeah? yeah? Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes you're going to come around yeah. and those ruts are going to have puddles in them. Right? You got to deal with those situations and you got to be able to race it. You got to be efficient. That's why we work the balance. We work the things that we do. So when it's gnarly like this and it's easy to make a mistake, you shine. Right? It's way easier to make a pass in those conditions when someone comes in, over ch charges too hard, over brakes. Those are the turns you want. You want it to be gnarly and you just got to be efficient and you got to keep the bike moving, you know, whether you're on the inside or on the outside. If that inside is the, the, better rut, where's everybody going to go? Inside, right? So you follow that guy, what's going to happen if he makes a mistake? You can't go anywhere. You got to wait for him or you got to try to climb over him. You might get past, but if you can run that outside line and, and actually intimidate that guy a little or get in that guy's racer's head, he's more likely to make a mistake and then you execute a pass, right? So those are the things that you're, you're looking for. All right, what I want, whoever I group you up with, whether you're getting beat every time it doesn't matter, you're closing that gap, right? Or if it's flip-flopping, right? There's going to be a better line. Don't use that as an excuse. Don't use, oh, he's only beating me because that's a better line. Find a way to close that gap and make the line that isn't the better line close to being as good. That's the only way you're going to be able to pass other riders, especially riders that are close to your speed, right? How often do people come off and it's one line? He's taking the best line. Well, no crap, he's gonna take the best line. He's not gonna give it to you, right? But the best line isn't always the best line if you're willing to run an outside line or carry more momentum. A lot of guys aren't willing to make other lines the, the best line, right? So that's where you look at some of the top outdoor guys, whether it's Ferrandez or whoever it may be, when they're taking different lines because they're willing to, to run the outside or whatever line it may be and carry more momentum, right? So you got to find a way to make those other lines good. All right, so let's group you guys up. Peyton, you want to go by yourself? Because I have an uneven number. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. guys listen up who was winning more in your group tiger out of your group okay adler your group where do you think he was better okay so you know that's a weak point for you right so we got to be be better right and even even over here how many of you colin dabbing your foot you know you went through that right hander walking through it Right? All of those mistakes add up to time. Right? You might be faster, but if you're making way more mistakes, you know, that stuff adds up. So you have to pay attention to not just the raw speed, your mistakes. Then as, as well, you've got to know, okay, what's your weakness in the whoops, Adler? Would it be entrance speed? So you got you to gotta say, hey, these little nuts got to drop and I got to commit. You know, at the end of the day, you don't change anything, nothing changes. Right? They do, the whoops don't get easier as you start start to move up, right? Probably the biggest challenge when it comes to racing as you guys go is the whoops. Why we have a whoop section on our outdoor track, right? So you guys get in them, you get more comfortable, but when you're making the mistakes or you're intimidated by them, you're, you're, it's going to show, right? So you got to know, hey, man, if, he, if we see a whoop section, he's going to have me covered, and I got to get better because I want to be – at the top. I want to race Supercross. Those are things that I've got to get good at, right? And then everybody else, you know, 
Who is winning more with you guys? Would you say, where was he better at? Was he better in the whoops? Right? I, th I mean, I only watched the first one, but it was really noticeable on the first one. But then, how was he able to, right? Started mo momentum through the turns, right? Close that, close that gap, right? So you gotta think, man, if there's no whoops, I gotta, I gotta carry more momentum, right? And two, going back to a lot of our bad habits of dumping the clutch, what gear are we in, right? In that race situation, sometimes we just get so excited and we're just thinking about going, but at the same time, we have to be efficient. We can't be dabbing our foot. Greg, did you close that gap a little bit? Did you have to step it up? Yeah, right? You started being more competitive. That first one, he's like, see ya. But then, okay, I've got to be better, right? Because even though you're on a 125, he's on a 250F, we've seen it from super minis to everybody else. It's all about momentum, especially out here. One little mistake, that 125 will go just as fast as the 250F will around here, right? You've got to challenge yourself. You see him getting away, you're slowing down, and he's not, boom. You guys say, next time, that's not happening again, right? And with everything, from the whoops to the turns to whatever it may be, it's just you have to get out of your comfort zone a little bit at times to find that little bit more speed. If you don't, you're always in your comfort zone. That guy's going to do this, and you're going to kind of stay here and, and plateau. All right, let's go. Same partners. Yep, same partners. <laughs> so far today but the the Instagram followers don't like the good ones though they like to mess up so and then if I only post the good ones they're like how many clips for that one I just got to give props to the undefeated champ today who do who do you think it is who didn't get beat who didn't get beat Peyton Morningstar oh you didn't get beat Dang, Adler! Gotta <laughs> step it up. So we got two of them. We got two of them. Thought I, was, I thought, I thought yeah, about one time you were really close to getting. Close them. The last time. You improved in the whoops though. Who is that guy? I wasn't losing time anywhere but right here. Yeah.